Hi everybody and welcome to the first uh, PyModis presentation. It's the first time that I speak about PyModis in public, so you are very lucky to see here. Uh, the m uh, presentation is online on my website, so you at the end I, you can see the link uh, and there are some links inside the presentation, uh, just click it, for example, for the code repository or for the website. So what is PyModis? PyModis is a library written in Python to allow you to work with uh, Modis data. And uh, he has some uh, capability. Uh, for example, it is very useful for uh, the bulk download of Modis data. They, uh, Modis are stored by NASA in uh, a repository. They have a lot of data. Uh, for the people that no don't know, the Modis satellite are uh, up from 2000. And uh, the first one was from 2000. The second one is from uh, 2002. They pass in each part of the world uh, four times a day. So each satellite passed twice in, uh, in the single point. So we have four maps a day for uh, a location. And uh, for download the data every day, you should be have something to automatically download them and not go to the website and click every, di every day on a lot of time. It's able to read metadata. The Modis uh, file are in HDF format but also there is a, a metadata file in XML format. And uh, PyMod is, is able to parse the XML file and uh, obtain more information about the Modis style. It's able to mosaicing the Modis style and uh, also to convert it to different pro projection uh, or uh, in different format. Uh, the mosaicing uh, projection and convert are uh, possible using uh, an external software that it's a uh, um, MRT, Modis Reproduction Tool. It's uh, a software, uh, it's free software, it's public domain software released by NASA. And uh, we decide to use it because uh, until now it's uh, one of the best software to uh, work with uh, HDF file from NASA. We try also with GDAL, but uh, sometimes there are some uh, small problems, so we are uh, more sure to use uh, MRT instead of uh, GDAL. Probably in the future, we also support uh, GDAL uh, API for the reproduction and the convert conversion. Uh, no, sorry. The software is uh, released in GPL version 2 or higher, so it is compatible with most of the software, the free software geographic. A little bit of story. Uh, when I arrived uh, in uh, my actual uh, foundation, uh, where I work, I'm working in the uh, Fondazione at MAC and in the unit of GIS and uh, remote sensing. Uh, the Marcus Netter, the head of the uh, unit, has some, had some uh, script to download the data, but uh, this script uh, was very, very slow because uh, they was written in, pa in Bash. Uh, and there was some uh, artifact to download the right uh, data, and they are not very performant. So I uh, told to Marcus that I like to convert them in Python, and he was very happy. After some months, uh, I obtained the first version of PyModis. Oops. Ah. That uh, it was able only to download the data. It was only a replacement of the bash script for, for Marcus. Uh, the first version was released uh, in 2010. And on, online, you can find only the version. The first wa version was 0 0.2 and on 0 0.1, because the 0 0.1 was on my laptop, and I forgot to upload uh, it in, uh, in the repository code. And it was enough for me. A uh, big improvement was done in 2011 when I participated to the Google Summer of Code. Uh, my project was uh, working on uh, AirModis. Uh, it's a module for GraphGIS to work with uh, Modis data. The um, 
so we, we had to uh, had more classes to have a, a complete stack for work, uh, work with the grass and modis. So we had the capability to parse the metadata and to, com to mosaic and convert the, the tiles. After uh, the August 2011, I released the version uh, 0.4, and uh, it was uh, able to do all the stuff. In the next year, there was uh, some uh, improvement, and the most uh, relevant, oops, sorry, okay. I had uh, a script for each class, so before uh, I used uh, the, the class only in uh, R modis from Grass. Instead, uh, from the version dot uh, 0 0.5, I start to release also uh, five modules to work with the, the Python library. The classes uh, was all, all in a file, and it was very difficult to maintain them. So I decided to split in several files. Now we have. Uh, three files, one for uh, the download, one for the mosaic, uh, and one for the conversion. Had the uh, documentation. The project was quite uh, uh, big, and some people uh, tried to ask me to how to work uh, with PyModis, so I decided to create a the documentation. The mod documentation you can find at this link. It's, uh, it's hosted by Fondazione Edmund Mac website. And uh, some uh, months ago, uh, I released the 0 0.6.3 version. And uh, it's now you can install uh, uh, PyModis using pip. It's a tool for, uh, for Python to easily install uh, li Python library. Uh, there is also a small gu guide how to install it uh, in Windows, because there are some uh, uh, something to do that in, Win uh, in Linux you have not to do. Uh, uh, Linux is very simple. You just uh, type uh, pip install uh, pymodis and uh, all its work uh, without any trouble. In Windows, instead, there are some problems. I'm not a Windows uh, user, so I uh, try to, to do my best to give some documentation. If you are trying uh, uh, PyModis on Windows, it doesn't work. Please contact me and try to fix it, and I update the documentation. And obviously, during this year, I make a lot of cleanup and bug fix every day, or every time that I find something new, uh, I fix it and uh, try to release mm -hmm. a, a new version, not a completely new one, but only uh, just an update. The last version. Mm -hmm that it's now unstable is the 0.6.4, and it was released uh, this July, oh no, uh, this June. And uh, now we are at uh, release 0 0.7.2. I, my idea was not to release uh, the 0 0.7 before uh, introduce some uh, other feature, but uh, this summer the NASA decided to uh, shut down the FTP server and move from FTP to a HTTP protocol. So several people asked me to uh, update uh, my library, and uh, I, I had no time to do that. And one night I decided to uh, that uh, we should start again to uh, to download because my company is using that. And uh, for one month, uh, more or less, we didn't download any tiles from Modis. Uh, Marcus. Uh, Maybe I don't, uh, he didn't realize this because uh, we are working on the data until 2012 and not uh, yet on 2013. But uh, it was uh, a mess. So one night I started to work on it, and in two or three days I just I was able to download data from uh, the new server. So now it supports uh, HTTP and the FTP repository because NASA. Uh, shut down not all the FTP server, but uh, only some, and some of us uh, remain on FTP, uh, FTP. For example, if you are looking for the uh, Snow product 
is uh, on the FTP server, and if you are looking for as LST, then the uh, surface temperature is uh, in uh, HTTP. Okay, we have uh, documentation for each class and for each script. Uh, this is very useful for the common user. Uh, there are examples, uh, and uh, you can see how to use it. There are five scripts to work with the modis data. There is a modis download that is useful to download the, the data. Modis parse it can uh, is able to parse the modis XML uh, file. Modis multi parse is uh, able to read more XML file, and it's very useful when uh, you are mosaicing the data because it's able to write uh, the new XML file uh, for the new HD HDF file. The modis reprojection tool is uh, not to write in the XML file, so I introduced this uh, script to do that. The new XML, it's not complete. There are some uh, features missing, but are not very important uh, right now. Uh, the mosaic is able to mosaic, obviously, and the convert is able to convert uh, syst uh, projection, uh, the projection system or the uh, format. I show you a little bit the wor uh, workflow. Uh, when you use uh, modis download, you obtain something like this. For example, this uh, example in uh, Japan. These are the three tiles of Japan. It's not very useful. You cannot understand anything. And uh, after you have to mosaic them, and now it's a little bit better. You can see that uh, the Japan has <coughs> more or less its shape, but it's com it's not also so simple. Say if I ask you wh where we are, probably nobody is able to answer. Also, the Japanese guy was not able to answer me. I, I was in Japan in December. I, I make this uh, screenshot for them. And I ask where we are, and the people say, well, I don't know. Well, yes, they, it's true. It's quite difficult to understand, because the HDF file has a sinusoidal projection. That it's not so common. And uh, at the end, with conversion, we can understand that we are in Japan. This is the Japan, this is uh, the Korea, and it's more comfortable for us. OK, these are a little bit of stats about uh, PyModis. Uh, there are four contributors. Uh, one is, uh, OK, two of them make very few contribution. I'm the uh, main developer. And uh, from two months, there are uh, another guy from Ireland that is working a lot. And it's helping me. And that's all about the present. About future in we have some really interesting new feature, like the quality class and the quality script. The Irish guy, it's a, okay, it's a Dutch guy that is working uh, in Dublin. Uh, he created a, a class to check the quality of the modis data. Inside uh, each HDF file, there is a layer for the quality <coughs> data, and uh, he. Uh, create uh, this class that it's able to read this layer. And, uh, and the output is this map, where uh, you are able to understand if each pixel is good or not. Uh, I don't tol told you before that uh, the data are not so much for uh, all the landscape. You can see that uh, red and green are very few. Uh, probably for that day, there was a lot of cloud. so. The satellite are not able to uh, keep the data under the cloud. So all the white are cloud, and the uh, red and green are uh, right value with better or worst quality. The red the one is the worst, and the green one is uh, the better. The second really important uh, feature are GUI. I know that uh, a lot of people don't like to use the uh, command line. Uh, instead, I love it. So I uh, introduce them not for me, but for the other people. And uh, I am very close to have uh, a stable version of the GUI. 
they are using uh, VUX Python because it's the simple one and they it, it didn't introduce uh, too much dependencies and it's uh, it's not so powerful uh, as Qt or something other uh, library for the GUI, but it's uh, enough for my point of view. And uh, the other stuff are new tools. There are some new script because uh, using a lot of the data, sometimes you can find something that is it's interesting. For example, there is a new tool that it's able to download the data from uh, a, uh, a file. You can write the the product and the date that you want, and it's able to download automatically the data. It obviously make a lot of bug fix and clean up. There are not so much bug, but sometimes you can find some. OK, uh, brief, uh, I want to show you who is using now PyModel for my knowledge. Maybe there are other people that are, I don't know. Uh, obviously, for the Senate Bumak, we have, uh, um, I think, uh, all the data set of MODIS uh, land, uh, land set temperature from 2000 until now uh, for all the Europe, because uh, one of the uh, best results are the reconstruction of the missing data. So we have uh, a data set for all the Europe with uh, uh, data for each pixel. Usually the MODIS are uh, are missing a lot of data. You can see some maps that are completely white because the, there are a lot of cloud for one day. And we are able to reconstruct that, that, that data. Okay. The University College of Cork, uh, the guy that uh, developed uh, qu uh, quality, uh, that quality class is using uh, PyModis. In uh, Argentina, the CONAI, that it's the, like uh, HESA, uh, are using uh, PyModis because uh, uh, two guys came uh, this year for six month uh, visitor in uh, Fundacion and Mumak. I, I introduced them PyModis and they was very happy and uh, they bring PyModis to Argentina. And uh, also in Japan, the National Institute of uh, Agro-Environment Science. Uh, last year I was in uh, the Japan. I didn't know anything that some people who uh, was uh, using uh, PyModis uh, are uh, outside my company. It was the first time that I realized that someone else uh, was using PyModis. And uh, I went to Osaka to thank a professor. And he told me, yeah, you should go to Tokyo to meet a uh, guy because he, uh, he wants to speak with you. Uh, I left them and he showed me that uh, he was uh, presenting a project using PyModis. And I was very happy. And uh, Probably, I told you, there are someone else around the world that is using it, but I don't know. No, really. I, I know that someone in the US is using it, but uh, they are not so uh, friendly, or uh, they are not. I ask them, uh, I can use uh, your, uh, your institution, but they don't, they don't answer, so I don't, can put the, their name. And probably someone of you will be the next one, I hope. Uh, I want to say thanks to Marcus Netter that gave me the opportunity during my work time to work on PyModis. Ingmar, Ingmar Nietzsche, that is uh, the developer of uh, quality, modi, uh, quality class. Marco Metz for the testing. Uh, Stefano Cavallari and Grisla for some improvement of Python. They are very clever Python developer, and so they help me. That's all. If you have any question. Sorry, uh, yeah. Can can you repeat? I didn't listen. We've looked, we've looked at using PyModis to use to process individual files from sinusoidal to mosaic thing to a mosaic output. There didn't seem to be a way of feeding a TIFF file, not the HDF files, into it. Is there any thoughts about putting that sort of functionality there, or can you give me any pointers into where where I would feed? So the problem is converting from HDF to TIFF? No. I 
I take the HTML file, yeah. run a model, I get a yeah. zip file, okay. the same projection. Ah, okay. As it sets in, yeah. okay. I would like to use file notice because you have all the stuff there. Uh, that okay, I think that uh, you should be able, uh, if you obtain the IT file, <laughs> With uh, the diff, uh, with the sinusoidal projection, you should be able to convert it to to GDAL. Because uh, right now the convert uh, uh, function is using MRT that uh, has like input uh, only HDF <coughs> and uh, like output a TIFF file. So you could also probably use PyModis and convert before the HDF in TIFF and after and after make your uh, model. No, you can keep. There is a, a parameter to keep the same resolution. MRT gives this possibility, and uh, also PyModis. Uh, there is a minus uh, R, R option that uh, you can set what uh, re resolution you want. For example, uh, in, uh, in my Fondazione, we are using the 1,000 uh, meters resolution, and uh, we rescale to 250 meters. Uh, right now, the only dependency is uh, no. Now there is no dependency. In the future, there will be GDAL for the quality map. So you convert to the uh, MRT software. So you have to set the path to MRT. Ah, okay. And uh, right now it's so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. MRT is a software uh, you have you have to compile, but it's very simple. And uh, you just put the, the path to the main directory of MRT, and uh, he set some uh, variable, and uh, it works very well. Uh, in the future, there will be GDAL, VUX Python for the GUI, and uh, NumPy. So from version 8, that uh, should be the next one. One more question? Anyone? Yeah. Yes, uh, about uh, data. Uh, yeah. Available by PyModis, is it uh, raw data or uh, it has it been processed by some radiometric correction? No, it's the uh, original data from uh, NASA okay. and NASA. So you have uh, the raw data, and after you can uh, make your analysis with the raw data. Okay, all right, thank you again. You're welcome.